Dear Rabbi Baker, I am I'm a non-Jewish person. Uh, I'm a Catholic, but I also uh, frequently speak with my hands. Uh, and uh, I'm sure that this is not the only thing what we have in common. Um, because the whole uh, conference was about a common fight. Uh, a combat against uh, anti-Semitism, which means the combat against uh, the evil, against uh, death, against the destruction of civilization, uh, against uh, the destruction uh, of the bad side, of the good side, in fact, of human nature. So, in a way, it is a fight uh, between uh, good and bad. It's a fight between uh, life and death. And as it uh, was quoted, I understand, we choose life. And I think that's the main message of this conference. Yes, indeed, we choose life, and life uh, cannot be, can never be defeated. John Lukács wrote that uh, when the Second World War was coming to an end, uh, Hitler thought that, okay, clear, I cannot win the war, but I can still win the war uh, against uh, the Jews. And despite the murder of six million innocent lives, he didn't win that war. Uh, State of Israel was founded, and Jewish life, culture, resurrected uh, across the world. But, but, as it has also been referred to, civilization is uh, paper thin. I think Katrina referred to uh, Tom Lantor's words. So, that's why I fully agree we have to be vigilant. We have to be relentless. As uh, said, we have to get up every morning with the thought that this can never, never happen again. And uh, yes, also we need the uh, survivors, Tom and Annette, to remind us, to warn us, to testify and to tell, to explain the truth. So, yes, anti-Semitism indeed is a crime against humanity, as we all know. It's a crime against mankind. But beyond this universal message, I believe that for us Hungarians, there is also a special significance of uh, anti-Semitism and indeed of the uh, Holocaust. Because the Hungarian Holocaust was committed by and against Hungarians. Both the perpetrators and the victims were Hungarians. And believe me, this is our biggest national trauma. Uh, we have to live with, we have to be confronted with, we have to cope with. So what shall we do? What can we do? First thing is, uh, as it has been referred to, accept and to admit responsibility. As it uh, was done, Rabbi Baker referred to it eloquently by the Deputy Prime Minister yesterday. I just would like to underline that this statement uh, by uh, Tibor Navracic was made on behalf of the Hungarian government, was made on behalf of uh, Hungary, it was made on behalf of the Hungarian nation. As uh, But 
by just like other statements, uh, including mine, for instance, uh, at the beginning of the Wallenberg year, carrying uh, the uh, same message. So it is a national tragedy because there was a community uh, that lived, that has lived with us for, some people say, and I believe them, uh, at least uh, 12 centuries. A community uh, that uh, gave an immense and unmeasurably immense contribution uh, to the progress and well-being of this nation, to Hungarian culture, Hungarian literature, Hungarian science, economy, and so on and so on. Yes, that was precisely this uh, constructive living together, as it has been referred to by uh, Bishop Dunch. And yes, indeed, that was also the Fashori Gymnasium, uh, if you think of the Nobel Prize uh, winners. And yes, it was also uh, the uh, revolution and the war of independence in 1848, uh, when our Jewish compatriots were fighting and dying for the freedom and independence uh, of Hungary. And I just would like to assure you, Rabbi Roy, that uh, yes, they were not only good for uh, Lajos Kossuth, I mean your congregation, but they are also good for my government and for my parliament. So I don't want to get into all the details. You are a registered church, and of course there is an additional revision uh, going on, hopefully with a positive uh, outcome. Uh, but I believe the conference is not only uh, about uh, opposing uh, to, the, to the bad, to the evil. It's also about proposing. It's also uh, about proposing a future. Uh, and that's why uh, the title uh, uh, carries uh, also the word Jewish life, because uh, yes, we all believe in a Jewish uh, resurrection, a Jewish renaissance uh, in this uh, uh, country. That is also part of the message that uh, we all, we all uh, choose uh, life. We now have a vibrant and flourishing Jewish community there are, of course, uh, uh, concerns which have also been voiced by the conference. But the main point is that we live together. And we very much believe in a constructive living together for the next decades, indeed, centuries. Now, let me tell you one or two words uh, about foreign policy, because I happen to be the foreign minister of this government. So uh, it's, a, it's an old and never-ending uh, debate what foreign policy uh, has to be based upon. Uh, upon values or conversely uh, upon interests. Or indeed on both, but there is a given uh, proportion <laughs> between the two. Now, no secret, I'm one of those who uh, still believe that uh, uh, fundamentally, foreign policy uh, should or has to be based uh, upon values. So if you want to uh, uh, follow values, you have to have ideas. And if you want to have ideas, uh, yes, indeed, you have to accept and you have to uh, uh, recognize uh, uh, responsibility. And when we spoke about our Middle East policy, when we speak about, uh, about the state of Israel. We should never, we should never forget about this historic responsibility that we have. That's point number one. Point number two is uh, that we have a very, very special bond between the two countries. Uh, in fact, two bonds, of course, the same thing. This is, as said, we have an extremely important uh, uh, Jewish community uh, in this country. But at the same time, uh, there is also uh, a 200,000 uh, strong uh, community in Israel, a uh, community of uh, 
Hungarian-speaking uh, uh, Israeli citizens. Many of them, by the way, are also uh, uh, Hungarian uh, citizens. Many of them, by the way, will also vote uh, next year in April. So this is, I believe, is, is a very, very uh, uh, special bond between uh, the two countries, and that's why I think that uh, <clears throat> our policy always has to take into account these fundamental facts, these fundamental considerations. Now, coming back to the conference, some people think, they are probably right, that this conference is a gesture, much has been said about gestures, uh, towards uh, uh, our Jewish community or indeed Jewish communities altogether. It's true. But we should not forget that uh, this conference uh, first and foremost helps us and only thereafter the Jewish community. It helps us to live with, to cope with exactly that national trauma I was speaking about. So we, thank you very much for this. We are on the receiving side by this conference. And I tell you this because of course uh, uh, I'm grateful to all who recognized uh, the uh, efforts uh, we make in our combat uh, against uh, anti-Semitism and racism. We also thank to those who reminded us that uh, this combat uh, has to be continued relentlessly and also uh, it uh, should be uh, from time to time more robust. So that is the main message. Uh, which, of course, we uh, fully uh, accept. And, uh, Rabbi Roy, I would agree with your proposition that uh, next year should be a year of uh, repension and reconciliation. I would only add that uh, this is something which is not for a year. It is a continuous exercise. Repension and reconciliation will go on, even after next year. And that's exactly the message, that we should never give, give up. We should be vigilant, and, uh, uh, and we have to uh, renew our strength and our resolve and our uh, determination uh, to, uh, to fight uh, for the good and to fight uh, against the evil. Whether this is uh, domestic politics, uh, whether this uh, is foreign policy, international relations, we always follow the same principles and the, uh, and the uh, same uh, uh, values. So <clears throat> I just would like to thank you all for this conference, for the organizers, for everybody who contributed uh, to this. Uh, and I would like to thank you, Tom, Kösenem, Tamás. Uh, I thank you for your help that you gave us through your memory and also through your family, Annette and Katrina. My only wishes, please uh, stay with us. I am one of those who believe that, yes, of course, uh, you uh, uh, have been and you are with us even now. So my only wish is, uh, please stay with us also in the future. Thank you for your attention.